Yeah, well the Lachlan River is an interesting river. It's uh, basically due west of Sydney and uh, you know, it flows west and enters the Darling River uh, you know, on the western boundaries of New South Wales. And it was the second one of the, the rivers of the basin to be settled by Europeans. So once they crossed the divide and, and uh, set up Bathurst, it wasn't long until the Lachlan was uh, discovered and, and settled as well. The Lachlan originally wasn't on my radar. Uh, it was the issue over whether there was trout cod in the Lachlan River that uh, got me interested in it. And uh, I had a photo that Rod Harrison had given me of a trout cod he'd caught in the Lachlan River at Reeds Flat in uh, 1969. And I'd been asked you know, to find any information I could on the Lachlan River. Uh, it was one of the rivers where the least information was available on what fish were there in the early days. So I actually rang Rod Harrison and I said, well, you know, you've fished out there, and who can I speak to? And he said, oh, there's this bloke out there at Wyangala Dam, sugar beer, ask for sugar beer. Sugar beer, is that something like Tooths or Tooies or something? No, that's his name. Oh, so his real name's Eric Beer. So I got on the sugar beer and uh, uh, he had uh, some good anecdotes and he said, oh, I know somebody else you should speak to. And I said, who's that? And he said, oh, a bloke by the name of Dick Elvins. And, uh, so I contacted Dick and he had grown up in the Reeds Flat area, the very spot where Rod Harrison had caught that trout cod in 1969. And he had memories of Macquarie Perch up there, but it was the cod had been long gone. And Dick recalled a story, family story, which was repeated to me by many people that in the late 1920s there was a big bushfire went through the top of the Lachlan catchment and it killed massive numbers of fish and it basically wiped out the cod population and shortly afterwards construction of Wyangala Dam started and the fish could not come back up the river and colonise it so the cod population had been all but wiped out. When I spoke to Dick he gave, gave me a lengthy interview and then he said my mum's still alive, Mona Motum, and she grew up on the Lachlan before the bushfires and I said well do you mind if I speak, speak to your mum and he said no go for it. So I spoke to Mona and she gave a, a lengthy interview and, and how her mum would take her down to the Lachlan there and they just used you know, stringy bark sapling and a bit of cord and they could always catch two or three cod you know, whenever they wanted them and the beautiful brim she talked about and she even talked about two types of cod in the river there. So I had a snapshot from one person of what the fishery was like before it had been decimated by bushfires. I think my father caught the last cod out of the Abercrombie. It was about five pound. He caught it out of what was known as the cod hole, about five miles as the crow flies below Bummeroo Ford, about 70 to 80 years ago. I'm almost 70. I started going fishing to the Abercrombie when I was about six or eight years old. And I used to catch a lot of the Macquaries over at Reeds Flat. They were still up there till about 55. Though not that many by then. They were starting to reduce in number. I blame the trout for wiping the Macquaries out. They put the trout in, and well within a couple of years you could see the change. The Macquaries got real scarce. We still get an odd little Macquarie. In the when I was very young I can remember a section of the Lachlan River, about three k's up from town, being a very popular fishing spot. This was known as the second sandbank, and swimming carnivals were also held there. My father, friends, old Digger Wright, Bill Slattery and many other fishermen They'd line up on Sunday, sometimes on a Saturday, with their rangoon cane poles and a tin of worms. There'd be a line of fishermen for about three kilometres, and they would mostly all finish up catching fish. They caught cod, slipperies, and yellow belly, which were common. It became quite apparent uh, that two types of cod were present in the upper Lachlan, and the trout cod had been prevalent there. And in fact, the, the native fish went a long way up the, the Lachlan, uh, one of uh, the early explorers, Johann Lotsky, uh, documented in his diary catching cod in uh, the Lachlan River upstream of Gunning and in Gunning Creek. So the cod were present virtually to the headwaters of the Lachlan. I worked my way further down the Lachlan at Cowra. There was Arthur Tibby Flint. He could recall a lot of stories around Cowra and, and the Wyangala area. And so we got a very complete picture of the, the Lachlan and it seems uh, fish like um, 
silver perch, catfish were very common in the Lachlan up to the Reedsdale area in the Abercrombie River up to Bummeroo Ford. Uh, above there the, the main fish were just cod, macquarie, perch and river blackfish or as the locals call them blue guts. The Aborigines had uh, undertaken sophisticated management of the lower Lachlan. There were certain lakes were set aside as sanctuaries for native fish. There were large stone fish traps like at Brewarrina on the Darling and they were used to manage native fish populations and were the sites of gatherings of corroborees where uh, they set the rules for the management of the environment. The corroborees weren't just about, oh, we'll, you know, we'll celebrate something and have a dance. They were actually meetings like the United Nations where uh, they'd observe changes in the environment, they'd set aside new areas for, as conservation areas for bird life or mammals or fish and that used to take place on the Lachlan. While uh, we have found a fair amount of information on the Lachlan, I think there's a lot more to find and one of the pieces of unfinished business for all the stories I've got of the fishery of the Upper Lachlan, uh, that's the area above Wangala Dam, I don't have one photo of the fishery before the bushfire that wiped it out. So I would love somebody to come up with a photo Here's a catch of fish from 1922 at Reeds Flat or the Abercrombie River. The Lachlan's significant too because the Abercrombie has one of the last populations of Macquarie perch left in New South Wales. And there's a desperate fight on to try and keep that population going. But in terms of its environment, the Lachlan is one of the most trashed rivers in New South Wales, which is very sad. <laughs>